all right ladies and gentlemen we are back at it again this is mark days and right in front of us we have the long-awaited unboxing of the iphone 15 pro max i feel like i waited for this for so long uh, yeah my kids in the background you know how it goes it just is what it is work with me through it because uh this is this is life when you're a dad so okay so we got the phone look at that beautiful device right there i chose the natural titanium 256 gigabytes um you know a few things updated this year we got the usb-c to usb-c rated cable in the box as you can see there I don't know why they left that braided cable white because that is going to be an absolute dirt magnet with that cloth surrounding that cord. Um, but hey, at least we got USB-C, right? Um, something that the rest of the world had for years upon years. So look, we got our booklet in here. Uh, no SIM card. Uh, removal tool because there is no sim card ever again we are gone we got robbed of the sim cards we got a stupid little eSIM symbol an apple sticker and some nonsense that we never read we pluck it and file it as Flossie Carter does say get it up out of here so listen a lot you're gonna see a lot in this video a lot of me just preying up looking up loving up and staring up at this phone I love the design of it I love these brushed titanium rails all the way around i love the natural titanium color i love the titanium material being significantly lighter than last year's model and previous models and you're just going to see a lot of shots of me just kind of staring at it and rubbing it and touching it and just <laughs> admiring the craftsmanship one thing about apple the way they suck you in every single year is they sure know how to make a device look attractive to the eye you know what i'm saying so we did get some updates I, I put it next to my samsung z fold 5 here just to see shout out to speaking with the zero one case on there just to see kind of what it looked like and i'm just enjoying it with my son in the background yelling yeah, again bear with me it is what it is this is dad life I'm crying out loud so the usb c port i'm just kind of taking a look at that one thing i've been struggling with with using this phone over the past 24 hours is um, <laughs> reminding myself don't put the lightning charger in that USB-C port, you will damage it. So I've been wirelessly charging or making sure that I use my laptop charger to charge this phone uh, to get the maximum speeds, not only, but to make sure that I'm not using that lightning adapter that is hooked up all around the house. I got mad lightning cables. So we removed the paper off the front. As you can see, there's a button uh, on the side there. I don't know if we even covered it or I took a look at it, but they have a new action button I don't really know what it does. Uh, I guess there are about six or seven different things You can map that button to do including flashlight uh, You can open certain apps with that button. I don't really care about it. I don't know what I mapped it to I might not have mapped it to anything. I may have just left it alone Okay, so we're getting into the setup of the device now the bezels are significantly smaller in last year's model and you really don't notice until you see it next to each other the screen's brighter uh, looks like a better grade of glass on the front or a better grade of display i'm not too sure how i can explain it but i saw a noticeable difference to my naked eye when i was looking at the actual device so i needed to do an update here so i'm going to go ahead and get that completed a couple more updates i believe the screen gets a lot brighter than last year's model uh, there are some updates to the camera of course there's updates to the chipsets and the internals here we're just comparing it to last year's model this is the iphone 14 pro max right here that we're comparing it to uh, the gold model and uh you know it was fingerprint city that's one thing i do like about the new rails they're not as smudgy you will still see some smudges here and there but definitely not as bad as last year but the, the phone just feels so much better in the hands. The rails are curved as opposed to those sharp edges from last year. And while I was in love with that squared off design, I didn't know what a significant difference it would make in the hand with these uh, kind of rounded off edges here, which is reminiscent of the iPhone 11 was like the last time you saw those curved ed edges, but they're not as curved. They're more like beveled or just rounded a bit. And I'm really enjoying those in my hand so i'm just like i said there's gonna be a lot of shots of me looking at this 
uh, kind of just loving on it and really enjoying the way that it looks to my it's very pleasing to my eye aesthetically it's very pleasing again don't mind the background noise yo it is what it is dog you know so i'm pointing to the camera there apparently there's a five times zoom uh, as opposed to previous models not being able to, to zoom in that much i'm not a photographer i'm not a videographer i'm not a pro video person i don't really care okay i'm a tech guy i love tech i'm a techie and that's why i keep upgrading every year and plus i want to bring this content to those of you who either can't upgrade are thinking about it and are kind of shaky about it and hopefully this will give you a little more information and insight as to whether or not you want to upgrade or just someone who wants to see the phone even if you're not interested in upgrading or being even if you don't have an iphone if you just want to see the phone and check out the phone and take a look at it for yourself without having to go to the apple store or buy one here it is it's on my channel i'm gonna go ahead and set up this face id real quick i got all kind of background noise going on I got my mother-in-law here, you know, the wife and kids is all type of stuff. So again, bear with me and it is what it is. I'll make sure to put some nice little music in the background too, to kind of offset, <laughs> offset some of that noise. So you see me signing in here. That's a new animation that I never saw before, by the way, that I really appreciated when I was uh, signing in there. Uh, so I got my number transferred over. Um, everything was good to go. Again, I'm kind of just looking at and loving up on the design of this phone i keep staring at it i'm in love with the color uh, almost identical match to my apple watch ultra that i do have so i'm really loving and enjoying that color and you see me just keep giving it wipe downs and just looking at it and i'm just very pleased with the aesthetics of this device and apple did a really good job so i want to go ahead and just admire that and look at it and there go testing the face id it works fine you can see those bezels are quite slim i'm wiping it down again just loving it so thank you all for watching my video uh, again i'm mark days make sure you like comment subscribe god bless you peace be unto you peace